I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm in my hoe phase right now. Happiness over everything. Where's your mind? So Tia Murray was married to a uh, husband, Dietrich, I think, Corey, his name, for 14 years. Now they've separated. So she's putting out tweets, videos, things of that nature. She's uh, on TikTok. That right now she's in a, a, a in a season, okay. So what I've discovered is that these women, whatever issues they have in their marriage, instead of finding a way to wake those things out, they think that the green the grass is green outside. They think they are young. They can go back to what they used to be, like in their teens and everything. But things have changed. So let's uh, take a look to what she has put out, okay. So this is an article here by Essence, okay. The uh, Chai actor Corey, okay, his name is Corey Hadrick, is finally breaking his silence on his divorce from actress and ex-wife Tia Murray. The couple was married for 14 years and had two children, son Cray, 12, and daughter Cairo. Oh, that's a beautiful name, Cairo. The divorce news shocked the fans when Murray shared they were splitting on social media, uh, specifically Instagram, in October 2022. Okay, I'm not going to read all of it. So here she is, okay? She put out a video on her IG. The audio is not that good, so this is the best that we could, okay? This feels like a whirlwind journey. I found that through the process, divorce is in a place where we arrive. It's entering a new chapter of life with many nuances and no one size fits all handbook. One moment you're relieved, feeling like you've conquered something significant. Then suddenly, waves of emotions hit you all over again it's a side of divorce that isn't often discussed especially when there are kids involved you strive to be a role model teaching them resilience and self-care you try different things to soothe and release emotional buildup with exercise journaling your thoughts meditation and seeking therapy to cope with the breakup and the dreams you had for the future it may sound cliche but time truly does have a way of soothing pain. Someday, I believe I'll be able to look back on this time with nothing but warmth and gratitude for the beautiful children brought into my life and the stronger version of myself that emerged from the experience. For anyone who is going through this, I would love to hear your experience, share your story because there's power in dialogue. As women, we take our power back by sharing our stories and bringing any deep shame we hold from this experience into the light. I love you guys. Tia. Recovering from a divorce feels like... Okay, so the comments on her IG. I love you. All this journey and everything. Do, it's it lies is a lies, lies. She wants to glorify divorce. Guys, God has divorced. Okay, we understand there's reasons, the scripture provides reasons why people can divorce, right? But there's nothing good about divorce. There's nothing good about divorce. There's nothing good about divorce, okay? So to glorify divorce is actually very shameful, but we are in this culture, okay? It's very selfish. They have two children. These are celebrities, right? Like, why are you making divorce sound so glorious that women are taking back their power women are taking back their power from who what what power are you, are you talking about so no if whatever issues they had in their marriage right if they ended up uh, divorcing to me there's no point there's no need to be glorifying this divorce if anything she should be grieving and be sad that oh you know what i'm saying now my kids are here their father is here this son and the third so but you know and she has a lot of people who follow her. And we know how Hollywood is like, you know, this is a catch, right? People are just going to be like, okay, it's fine, right? And even now I've heard like people do like, you know, divorce parties. Okay. There's nothing good about divorce. Okay. My parents divorced. That issue affected our uh, family dynamics even up to now. Okay. So there's so many things that are going to happen along life that's going to affect everybody involved in there for the rest of their lives. People think like it's just about them. It's not just about you. 
she has children and these children are going to uh, grow up one day they're going to get married they're going to have kids these are the things that are, does affect the family dynamics so i don't like it when i see people glorifying divorce okay and not only is she glorifying that she she's i'm very disappointed with this young lady okay so watch this what what, what she's doing now Okay, so let me play this for you guys. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm in my hoe phase right now. Happiness over everything. Where's your mind? Happiness over everything. Now she's in whatever age phase, right? This is a woman who was married, who has kids. Why would you be putting those type of videos on TikTok? Your kids are going to see those things. Your grandkids are going to see those things. Your friends, your neighbors, everybody else is going to see those things. That's not funny. That's very embarrassing. That is very embarrassing. And the people out there clapping for this thing, like, no, it shouldn't be. It's wrong. It's wrong. So, yes, she was married. But I understand, like, you know, she made more money than the husband. Okay. Uh, just because you make more money than your husband, that is not a reason to divorce your husband. When you guys come together, everything, whatever you have belongs to, it's, it's for both of you. It's for all of you. So just, you know, learn to cultivate whatever else you have and share and build from there. Okay? It's very unfortunate. Also, I think, like, you know, she was the one, she was waking, the, the guy was home, taking care of kids, this, those things, right? Like, whenever you reverse the roles of what a man is supposed to be doing and a woman is supposed to be doing, it does lead to, pro to problems. However, you guys, you are married, okay? So those are the things you should just sort of like work out within your household. You don't have to divorce. So, you know, but yeah, we know like in Hollywood, right? This is the most reason why people are going to divorce. It's always to do, uh, it's finances always uh, gets in the way. So there was also another clip somebody put out. I'll share with you guys. Tia filed for divorce. You know, it's it's tough when it feels like you're going through something alone and, and no one understands and, you know, uh, no one's there for you. And it's just like, you know, you're a man, especially black man. He actually said that he cried for over a year after Tia to Tia filed for divorce because his family was literally everything to him. So after more than a decade of marriage and nearly two as a couple, Corey implied the post-split period was painful for him. But it seemingly showed him that he's stronger than he thought he was. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... I'm stronger than I thought I was. Yes. I'm really stronger. And that, by, the grace, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, it's like, I'm here and I'm still going. Now, just for a bit of background about how we even got here, in October 2022, Tia confirmed via Instagram that she and Corey had separated after 14 years of marriage by telling her followers, I have always been honest with my fans, and today is no different. I wanted to share that Corey and I have decided to go our separate ways. These decisions are never easy and not without sadness. She also filed for divorce in Los Angeles, citing irreconcilable differences as the reason for their split, and asked a judge for joint custody of their son and daughter. In June 2023, Tia then gave additional context about the reason she filed for divorce, and she said that she'd been considering the split for about five years. She also said that despite loving the role of a wife, tradition didn't allow for the constant nature of change. I knew when I really started to focus on my happiness. Mm -hmm. I feel like women, we tend to focus on everybody else's happiness, um, making sure that everybody else is okay, meaning our children, <laughs> <laughs> meaning, you know, our children, our friends, our, you know, family. According to Tia, after some family deaths, she attended therapy and started questioning her peace and happiness. And ultimately, she decided that choosing herself was the best for her and her babies, Kree and Cairo. There was just an aha moment in me where I said, you know what? You need to tap in, see what's really going on with your happiness. Life is short. Let's go. Let's start working on you and really focusing on what really, really matters here, which is at the end of the day, your peace, your joy, and your happiness. Well, we have people responding to these. So... This woman is lying to herself that the sole purpose of her life is her, 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 her happiness and her peace. Where is that happiness going to come from, Tia Mori? Where is that peace going to come from, Tia Mori? How are you going to say that you have, quote-unquote, happiness and your peace? You're separating yourself from your husband. What God has joined together, let no man separate and then you're going to separate what God has joined together. And then you're going to be like, okay, you're going to find your happiness. And then you're going to find your peace. And then you're going to find your joy. From where? How? So this, this idea of this, I don't know where the, which world these people are living in. Okay? 
you can be happy but remember happiness this is just a uh, happiness is not there's nothing wrong being w- with happy right but it's a momentary how do i say it <sighs> happy happiness is momentary okay happiness is momentary okay so if you're living your life looking for happiness everywhere you are not going to be happy if anything you're going to be miserable because that's not the purpose of your life right things are going to happen in, on your everyday life that might not involve happiness so if you're out there searching for happiness then you, whatever you're doing you're doing it wrong so how is it happiness you separating your children from their dad from their mom in the same household living in separate just like you're not thinking this is so selfish and they're going to go on these talk shows no i had to look into myself right you know they become i i i i i i i right everything is me 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 that is selfishness okay as a mom okay you are to you know uh, live a life where you know like you uh you you're submitting to your husband right you're taking care of your children you're taking care of your home you're living according to the purpose that God has designed you and these women like you know they profess to be Christians by the way okay Th- those are the things that you do and all these other things are going to be added on to you joy joy is not going to come from hollywood joy comes from god okay this is a mindset this is a status where you're going to be re- uh, no matter what's happening in your life You know, you always going to have that joy but they're looking for for happiness. Happiness is just a feeling. It can come and go. Okay? It it can come and go. It can come and go depending on whatever the mode you're in, the situation, the circumstance, okay? But when you are, you know, when you're having joy that comes from the Lord, it doesn't matter the surrounding that happening you, right? I've learned to um to rejoice, right? Whether in plenty, you know, whether I have plenty or I have less, that way you're just constant with the Lord. but welcome to hollywood guys you know i was just like this is very sad to me you know it's very sad it's very sad so yeah obviously they didn't you know they're not disclosing as to the reason why they divorced uh, hollywood right irreconcilable differences <laughs> irreconcilable differences that's all that's all they uh, they always end up with their excuses So yeah, let's watch a little bit more and then we'll we'll continue. Some why Tia filed for divorce was because she was tired of pulling the weight, especially financially in the marriage. In fact, we had people saying that she should have seen that Corey only dated her because she was already super rich when they met on the set of Sister Sister. And this is where they were coming from. You see, Corey had been granted an unemployment check by the state of California by the time he was meeting Tia, but allegedly the state later discovered that he wasn't eligible and asked for the money back. And when they didn't receive it, they filed a case against Corey. Now, I'm not sure whether Corey disclosed that information to Tia or not when they started dating, but according to most people, that is one of the indicators that Corey only wanted to be with Tia for her money and over the years Tia excused Cory by saying that gender roles did not matter in their household. We don't focus on, you know, specific gender roles, meaning the women should just do one thing and then the men should just do one thing. It's it's a team effort at our house. But after filing for divorce, Tia herself alleged that she was tired of being the breadwinner when TikToker Lee Hammock created a scenario surrounding a couple where one is happy to pay the bills together and the other is using a manipulative tactic to get out of paying bills. And she liked the post. I'm so happy we live together. I'm I'm excited to pay our, our first bill. You know the rents do, right? Who on earth is excited to pay bills and 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 what do you mean t- together? I mean, you 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 live here so you you're not going to pay it away. What? So what would you do if I wasn't living here with you? How what would you do? I would pay the rent and all the bills. Exactly. So why do you need me to pay the rent and the bills if you can do it by yourself? It was your idea what? it was your idea to move in together. So you're not going to help pay any bills. You know I'm in between jobs. You know I'm allowed to put in five applications. And why did you move in with me with no- So why you going you going to kick me out? Do you, I thought you, I thought you loved me. Uh, love love don't keep the lights on, but love keeps our relationship on. Is that not worth anything to you? It's worth it's, it's worth some to me but, but But I'll have a job within the next 6 6 to 12 months. 6 to 12 months what what am I supposed to do to then? Do what you do if I wasn't here. Duh, you said it earlier. What? Was she trying to tell fans that they were right all along about Corey doing the bare minimum and only sticking around because of her money? I don't know. To make matters worse, Tia's initial divorce filing claiming the two were divorcing due to irreconcilable differences was contested by Corey, and he even asked the court to terminate Tia's right to spousal support while asking his right to seek spousal support from Tia. In addition, he wanted the courts to determine the validity of their prenuptial agreement, and that only made more people say Corey wanted to cash out. Well, they somehow came to the agreement that she should not have to pay spousal support, and the divorce papers also noted that they had no community assets, which meant that whatever 
whatever Tia acquired on her own remained solely hers, and whatever Corey acquired on his own remained solely his. Now, other than the money situation, followers also pointed out how uninterested Corey always seemed even when they did interviews together. For instance, there's this interview where Tia was talking about how she literally couldn't live without Corey, and Corey was just looking bored. So He's like a part of my body, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, you know, it's like if it's, I, I can't even, I can't even visualize myself, you know, without Corey. Then there's how Tia talked about how she had to schedule her lovemaking with Corey. She actually revealed on the What to Expect podcast that becoming parents had made spontaneous hookups less of a possibility and strongly defended how they scheduled their intimacy. And do you know how they even managed to spend less and less time together? Tia allowed her kids to sleep with them in their marital bed. And apparently, Corey was okay with that. My, my well, my one-year-old is still in my bed. So my one-year-old, ever since she was born, she was always in our bed. And my son was in our bed till he was four. Ooh, what's everybody else think about? <laughs> <laughs> my husband's fine with it. Oh, uh-huh. If he was not fine with it, maybe we would No, you'd have to have a discussion. Yes, but he is so cool with it. So it's things like these that made people say that Corey didn't appreciate Tia enough. And now that they are over, it's too late for him to be saying how his family meant everything to him, when on the other hand, Tia is living her best life in solitude. But at the end of the day, it's about self-love. And when you start to really work on yourself, love yourself, know your value, know your worth, and then all of a sudden there's this awakening. Wow. And it's, it's, it's not easy. It's a hard journey, but at the end of the day, I feel like it is so, so worth it. Anyway, Corey was also a... You see, uh, self-love, this is no edge language, okay? Self-love, it's all about you, this is selfish. For me, whatever arrangements they had in their home, like I said, right? Like when you, when a woman becomes a man and a man becomes a woman, it is going to lend her some issues, However, those issues are not the reason for you guys to, you can go for therapy, right? A biblical counseling and, you know, uh, sort out some issues. When they met, she already had more money than him. So it's not like she didn't know that this guy doesn't have, uh, in, doesn't have the same money as, as hers, okay? But she was willing to be with a guy and they were married for 14 years. So at what point did she find out that this guy does not make as much money as she, uh, as she does, okay? They were married for 14 years. So... I'm like, you know what? It's money, 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 money. So now, is she happy? Like, what's the difference in her life? Because she's still making the same money that she was making when she was married. She's still doing the same thing that she was doing even before they got married. After she got married, now she has kids. She wants to pretend like over here, this divorcing recently and he gave more insight about how he's been holding up first of all shout out to him for being an involved dad because we love present dads over here why i mean that's my number one guy that's my son my firstborn i would have brought my daughter too but she's too young yeah so we Cairo, we love you yes Cairo, daddy loves you right he also talked about how he's dealing with a divorce and once again said that it's by the grace of god that he's come this far um god's grace and um a lot of patience and just being still you know what i'm saying and just leading by example you know what i'm saying i'm just I'm just very determined and inspired to just, uh, keep moving forward and, you know, taking care of my beautiful children. And everything is fine. Everyone loves everybody. You know what I'm saying? We're one big happy family. We're still a family. Everything is great. Then while talking about working through the next steps of his life and career and how he stays positive through all the noise, he said, I stay still. I just do the work. You know, a lot of praying, meditating, and um, I just stay out the way and block the noise. I'm just walking in purpose, that's all. I'm excited. You know, it's interesting that Tia was also at the BT Awards, and she was interviewed right after Corey and Cree were interviewed. I'm encouraging people to be courageous, strong, as they go through transitions in life. Whether it's a divorce, whether it's a change in a job, a loss, whatever. And if I can be that source of inspiration, then I feel like I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, according to fans, the only time they remember seeing Tia there was when BET picked up the game, so she had to be there with her cast. A lot of people actually feel like she went this year because Corey was there. But do you think she actually went there because Corey would be there? Child, for me, it's Corey promoting a movie called Divorce in the Black while Tia is in the crowd. BET, y'all are shady. Anyway, this divorce still has people talking, with some people saying that Corey deserves better and other people saying that Tia deserved better. But what's your honest opinion? Did Tia really leave Corey for no good reason? Did she deserve better than him? Is Corey the one who deserves better? Okay, guys, so that's, uh, you know, I thought somebody did uh, a good job over there just putting everything together. So we ended up getting a picture. So there is a movie that Corey is doing together with Megan Good and it's produced by Tyre Perry. And Megan Good was divorced herself to, was married to a pastor. I don't know why a pastor was even marrying Megan Good. And then now you have uh, Corey. Uh, ex-husband to Tia Murray and they're both uh, in that movie by Tyra Perry. So the word is just like, okay, you know, Tyra Perry, I guess they've been divorced in real life. I guess they'll make good actors for that movie. Who knows? 
you know, and then people were saying like, eh, you exploiting them after they're divorced, but hey, man, they could say no, right? <laughs> That's Hollywood. <laughs> don't take, uh, as they say in Hollywood, what? Don't let a crisis go to waste. <laughs> Hollywood, Hollywood.